Welcome back to my channel. It is lovely to have you here with me again. Don't forget, I do have a thousand subscriber giveaway. So check out the drop down description box and for the link of how to enter. If you are new to me or you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to click subscribe and it'll keep you to keep you up to date with everything that I do. Right, so today's unboxing is my latest on beauty box. Um, I pay £18 a month for this. This is um, nine items, which is why I pay £18 a month. Oh. My box is a bit bashed. Well, just squidged, but that's because I had my subscription boxes stacked on top of it. So this is the Hot Right Now edit. Um, the last couple of months I've really struggled, I will admit, with latest in beauty. I've really struggled with the picks. I don't know if they're just not getting the quality of product coming through because obviously this worldwide pandemic. Um, but yeah, quite a lot. Like last month was literally just full of repeats. It was full of hot, loads of Hall of Fames, loads of stuff we've already had in previous months. Um, and this month, I picked my picks early than I normally do. I usually wait to the end of the month and then pick, because I usually pick on the 30th of the month. So usually, you know, I'm picking right at the end of the month, whereas I picked really quite early on for this, um, just because I knew there wasn't much more coming that I wanted, so. Let's have a look. Let's see what is in here. Although, what I chose, I was really happy with. Um, yeah. Right. We'll go with my first item. Let's put that there. So, um, I don't know if you see that very well. So this is the Salcora Antioch. Antioch Active Gel Serum, Max Strength Clear Skin. So it's rich in omegas, vitamin A and zinc. It's rapid action spot controls. So it's got tea tree, aloe vera and eucalyptus. It's 15 ml. Um, it's about this product. And then it's got lists of all the good stuff. So it's aloe vera, grape seeds, sea buckthorn, tea tree, sunflower, orange, eucalyptus, lavender, manuka, peppermint and rosemary. It is cruelty free i don't know if you see the little bunny but there's a bunny there and it's also vegan and um, we always avoid ingredients that are widely accepted to be unsuitable for sensitive or problem skin so this is an effective targeted therapy and um, to quickly reduce spots and blemishes in as little as four hours um, the fast acting gel serum contains a powerful blend of natural and clinically proven ingredients to effectively calm the skin and clear breakouts. So um, apply directly to breakouts as they appear, repeat application until the spots have disappeared, use in conjunction with any Antioch products for maximum results. So um, I like the sound of this, it was something different, I've not never really tried it um so i thought i would get it to give it a go i'm not overly i don't have acne or anything like that i do have a little bits every now and again coming up i don't know what that is it's been there for days it's like a, a block pull but I just not picking it i'm not squeezing i'm gonna let it go down it's angry at the moment and it's literally feels like it's pitched up like a 10 man tent you know for the size anyway so yeah um, never heard of it, thought I would try it, I thought it was interesting. Um, the next one, oh, you've seen me get this before. Um, again, like I say about it being repeats, there was, there was a lot, the last two months have been the same. However, if this is on a pick, I will pick it. So this is the um, Pry, 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 P-R-A-I, terrible with pronunciations. This is their um, Ageless Throat and Decolletage Cream. It's lovely. I would say my throat is absolutely lovely at the moment. I've literally been using this nonstop for like seven, eight weeks. My throat is lovely, apart from my little pitched up tent friend. Um, and there isn't really massively deep inset wrinkles either. Um, it feels tighter. It, yeah, I I love it. I love it. So if this is in the picks, I always get it. Because the big pot of it is quite expensive. And these little pots, um, if you're putting it on every day, I put it on in the morning every day. Um, and my pot is just about to run out. So it'll be in probably the end of this month's empties. And it's lasted maybe six, six seven weeks. 
Right. The next thing I have is this. So this is a shampoo in a bar, healthy, strong hair rejuvenation, moisture volume, solid shampoo block. Um, yeah, I've seen a few of these, like, I've never got them because I'm like shampoo in a bar, really. Um, however, you have soap for your body, so why not your hair? Oh, it smells good. So it's bright green, which is quite funky. Smells amazing, really, really nice. So I thought I would get it and give it a go. It's plastic free, pH balanced, not tested on animals, SLS free, palm olive free and vegetarian. Dermatologically tested, no plastics, no sulfates. Um, yeah, so I was really interested in it, really interested in this, I mean, if you can get, this was biotin and apple cider, that's why it smells apple-y. <laughs> um, but if you can do without bottles of shampoo, then that's a lot better for the environment because that's just a tiny piece of cardboard going into my recycling rather than a plastic bottle again. So yeah, I thought I would try it out. I've been umming and ahhing and I've seen little cubes here and there and never really made the plunge. So that's why I got that. Um... The next thing I got was this, which is lovely, but I don't know, do I moan? The last time it was on Ladies and Beauty, they had a full version that was 250 and it's amazing. So I'm a bit like, oh, I wish the 250 was there, but it's the 50 mil. Um, however, 50 mil is going to do my hair a couple of times. I really, really like it. I do use that. I use a purple shampoo once a week. Um, I have, this was in my last, the 250 mil was in last month's empties and I've moved on to another one to try so once that one's finished I'm going to go back onto this but I, I like this shampoo I really do um, next we have this again it's something that I hadn't come across so this is the Juice Beauty the Organic Solution Blemish Clearing Cleanser um, anti-perfections clearly I was thinking about spots when I picked um, so it's a deep cleanse and so it's a deeply cleanse and removes impurities with a clarifying blemish clearing cleanser um, formulated with organic ingredients clears clears while hydrates so this is 60 ml um, again I've never never seen this before so I thought I would give it a go I do like cleansers I'm a double a double cleanser I'm a double scrubber I scrub my face and then I cleanse and, and yeah I do cleanse to, well wash my face twice a day so what can I say I get through a lot of cleansers it's just a habit I've not gone out I don't feel like my face is clean unless it's been washed twice so yeah I'm really excited to try that one the next thing was this so this is the Vital Liberta Body Blur. It's high definition body makeup. So it's 30 ml, it's in latte. I don't know if the latte is gonna be too dark for me, but we'll see. The ultimate award-winning body makeup for smooth bronze skin in one easy application. So it might be okay on like legs and arms because I've been tanning. You can see the difference. Although I do do both sides of my arms, I'm naturally darker obviously on this side. Um, so, perform a patch test 24 hours prior to use. Uh, contain sunscreen to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to Google it because there's not much information like on usage. I'm guessing you just pop it on. We shall see. But yeah. I thought um, a little bronze and cream by the looks of it, I thought that was a good idea. It's always nice to be a bit sort of tanned, not 50 shades of milk bottle or cream. Anyway, um, my last two items, oh there's a leaflet as well, it's 25% off with a nail varnish, uh, Lag X Lib if you fancy the code. Right, um, I got this. Now, I do have a confession. I already have one that I haven't used. 
However, I really like the look of it. Let me get the one that I haven't used. Hang on a minute. I don't know why I actually say hang on, because it's not like I leave you on camera while I leave, but I left. So I got exactly, I got a product that I have that I haven't used. One, because when I opened this, the box lid ripped and it really vexed me. <laughs> um, and it's been doing my head in since I got it. But two, I thought it was really, really interesting and I just haven't got around to using it. So this is Northern Soap for Deep Facial Cleansing. Yeah. So it's Natura Sib Siberica. Um, made with wild harvest Siberian herbs, born in Siberia, um, based on active charcoal. The packaging's really nice. The box is lovely, minus the bit that I ripped off because I'm clearly not careful. And then it's right black inside. It smells lovely. So, yes, I have one already. But the thought being that if I really, really like it, then at least I've got one, another. And if I don't like it, I can give this to somebody as a little present. Give it to my mom or my sisters, either one. But this soap is filled with the unique properties of re revitalizing Siberian herbs and berries. Um, directions apply to wet face, avoid eyes and lips. Gently massage thoroughly. Uh, gently massage and rinse. That was my box of soaps. Just decked it onto the floor. Thankfully, soaps are sturdy, so... Nothing will be broken. But yeah, again, like I say, this the last two months have been really a hard pick and it's been repeats. So I hope though, um, and this was really interesting, which is why I got it. Obviously I have two. The next thing in my box, I have two products left, um, is this. And I can't read what it is. Oh, it's a Rimmel Brow Mike, um, blah, 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 blah. a Rimmel Brow Pro Micro Pencil. So I've got it in soft brown. So you've got the pencil one side, a little spoolie the other side. And I've just, in this month's emptied, binned um, some brow like gel or cream that's gone really, really hard. And there's nothing on the face of the earth that will make that product not hard i have tried everything even the drops that go in a mix having none of it so i thought it'll be a nice replacement for that clearly i haven't done my brows today anyway but yeah let's get off that i think i went red today and that was it so i've got the mac lipstick on um in chili to really really like it's coming out really very red on camera it's more terracotta type to color off camera and obviously they're red that's the ciate nail varnish that i got in a friend mail and i was like i'm gonna be red today yeah so a brown pencil and then my last thing is the sally hansen nail varnish it's uh insta dry uh, nail color is in god knows what i know peach to the metal no peach it's not peach it's petal to the metal now i can't read as well as speak so it's number three five yeah, 235. No, 253. <sighs> Just having one of those days. I can't speak, can't read, can't pronounce. Yeah. But it's a really nice colour. It's like a pinky kind of reflective one. So I got it because I like Sally Hansen nail one. This is the good. And that was the end of my box this month. Now, yes, my picks were really, really good. Um but did you notice there was no Hall of Fame? Because it was really, really bad. For me it was. I thought it was a really, really crappy Hall of Fame this month. It was five tester size perfumes. So it's a brand, I can't even remember. It wasn't even like, well, I'm not going there. I can't even remember what the brand was, but it was five tester shops. So if I went into anywhere and went to account and said, oh, have you got a little test of that? Have you got a little test of that? Then I've given me tests and I've walked out with five tests for free for the sake of just nipping to the shop. I just think it was, yeah, for me, for a Hall of Fame, it wasn't very good considering the recent Hall of Fame, you've been up with Jirlik, which is like, they've had a rose water that was like nearly 50 pounds. You've had Clarins as the Hall of Fame as well. You know, I could go on, but that would recall 
my brain. You know, last month's haul of fame, I think, was a mask. Which, again, I, li I do like a face mask, but I do think it's a pretty bad Hall of Fame. So, yeah, the last two months for me have been not so good. However, I have managed to pick some very nice products out of the bad bunch that's there. So, what can I say? I can't really overly moan. But, yeah. There's some things in here I'm really, really interested in trying, especially the bar of soap shampoo. And I am definitely going to try that black soap out. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to use the... I'm really quirky like that. I hate ripping, ripping packaging. What can I say? Well, I hope you have enjoyed it. I do apologise for the weird rambles and the tangents that I tend to go but if you've been here a while you know that's me so what can I say don't forget like comment subscribe and um yeah we'll see you soon and uh, we'll chat in the comments as we normally do bye